Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to create an archive page and in this video, we are going to talk about how to customize the post per page, which means if we have an archive template, if we want that the archive template should render the number of posts differently, let's say by default, if it's 10 posts, if, it, if you want to render nine posts, then how to change that, okay? So we'll learn that in this video. Okay, well, I've created a file called class archive settings.php and let's make sure that we include that as well over here. Now let's make sure we instantiate that class also. So that's archive settings. Oops. And the name of the class is archive settings. So let's ensure that we instantiate that into the class Aquila theme. So we've instantiated this particular class and let's see what's going on over here. So we have a function called setup hooks, which gets called. There's a filter. Now there's a filter available in WordPress called pre get posts. And if you hook your function to it, basically gives you access to the query that's being run on that particular page. So idly, this returns a query. However, you since you get hold of the query, you can actually modify it based on your needs and then re finally return it. So let's print out the query and let's see what we get here before I explain the bottom part, before I explain this particular code to you. So let's see what we get in the query. Okay, so if, if you're on the archive page, let's refresh. There you go. So you can see you get WP query object and on this page, which is basically the category called game. So this is a, a category archive page. Over here you have you have category names, you have uh, post parent, you know, you have a bunch of parameters over here that have values in it. So what are we looking for? We want to check if this is an archive or not. So let's search is archive. So you can see that this is one which means this is true. So this is an archive page and also notice that it says is category true. So there are a bunch of parameters available that you can use to find out whether you are on a certain page, certain archive page. If you are only wanting to check if you are on a category page, you'll do, you will use is category. Uh, but since we want to check if you are on any archive page, then we just check is archive. Okay, so we check if query, which is basically this object that we have printed, uh, if is archive is true and it's not admin, so we don't want to run this in admin and it's a main query. Okay, so this function checks if it's a main query. Then we can set the post per page. So if you go back and check post per page, so there it is. So that's your post per page and that's inside of your query object. You can see your post per page and here uh, you can actually set it by passing the name of the query variable by passing this name and then the value, okay? So we can create a constant. This must be string. We can create a constant. So if you go over here, you can see that I've created a constant called uh, Aquila archive post per page inside of our functions.php of our theme. And I've set the value to eight. So in case, if it is found that you are on the archive page and it's a main query, then we're gonna set the post per page to eight, which is this constant value so that only eight posts get rendered, okay? Now, similarly, if you are on the search page, this is handled for that, but I'm not get, but we will discuss that part later. Let's just print out, what do we get in the query after this is set, okay? So let's see, let's so refresh posts per page. Now you can see that been set to eight, right? Which is brilliant. Okay, now if you refresh, you can see that now we only have eight posts. Actually, we would, would want nine, right? Because nine would look better over here. There's a one missing here. So let's change that to nine. Okay. All right, there you go. That's nine. If you comment that out and if you print it, and if you check post per page. Okay, similarly, if you are on a search page, let's say that search hello. So you can see that you have a query param called hello, and that's what we're checking over here. So if you want to modify, how many posts are being rendered on the search page? You can actually do that by using the query bars S. So let's take a look. If you print a query inside of it, which means it's it's come inside of it. And if you refresh, you can see that 
you have the query was query was which is this to get access to query was and then s and that's that so if you if that is not empty which means you are on the search page you're not inside of admin then go ahead and modify the post per page and in this case we'll set the post per page to uh, search result post per page constant which in this case is nine okay you can change it according to your needs so that's how you do it for the search page so i hope you get the idea how you're gonna modify the post per page of different uh, pages whether it's a search page or an archive page accordingly all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, please do start my repository to support my work you can also join our membership to get the exclusive video especially for you and you can check out the perks for that you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is Cody Tech. so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye